Hey guys, this is Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So what we're going to be covering today is going to be basically, I talked about my storm shelter, my inverter charger a little bit on some other videos. So now we have all of this stuff tied in. So I had an electrician to come in and put this switch here. Now this switch for my grid power goes to this switch to kill it if I need to kill it. That now I have my inverter charger tied into the grid. So if my grid power goes down, okay, once that goes down, it clicks over to my solar because I have it on AC priority, right? So AC priority, let's talk about AC priority right quick. AC priority means I'm using the grid, but if I lose power from the grid, my solar system takes over, okay? If I had it on DC priority, if I lose power from my solar system, my power from my grid kicks on. My inverter charger from the grid keeps my batteries at 100% all times until I lose power. Then I rely on my solar panels to keep my battery bank up to 100%. So in a quick example, if I pull this switch here, it's going to go over to the charger, right? So boom, pull it, light flash. I now I'm working on my solar power, right? No longer the grid. My battery bank is at 100% right here right now. I'm running a Renegy Rover. 40 amp MPPT charge controller. I have five solar panels totaling up 580 watts of solar panel. Everything's ran, my solar panels are ran in parallel. So for my amperage, to up my amperage on it. And some people run them in series. It's your choice, what you want to do. I run mine in amperage because I want more amperage than putting into my batteries to charge. So my solar power come in here into the charge controller and from the charge controller down to the battery bank here. Then from the battery bank comes up to either your inverter or a inverter charger. Inverter or inverter charger. Two biggest differences between the inverter and inverter charger is inverter does not tie into your power grid to charge your batteries. The inverter charger charges your battery. It ties into the grid where it can actually charge your batteries from the grid power. Okay, so that's your two biggest difference on that. This is a 3000 watt expert power inverter charger with a 9000 watt surge. So it can just start just about any and all your electronics, including refrigerators, ACs, um, window ACs, and some different stuff like that. So that's why I went with this because I do have an AC here. I do have lights, I have microwave, I have TVs, I have a lot of electrical plugs, I have a DC fan, and this battery bank. My solar panel, it take care of it all, okay? So I was able to leave this on overnight with my lights and my TVs on, and the next morning I got up, it was still on. And then my son came out and charged my solar panels back up to 100%. So right now I'm still on solar. All my lights are on right now. It's still at 100%, so I think it's good. So I, this little light right here is just... If I'm not running the big lights, I'm going to run just a little light in this section over here. I can push this button right here. Bam, that light comes on. That's my DC load off of my charge controller. So it's just giving me that little bit of light in the corner down here in my storm shutter if I need it. So, guys, if you're going to be doing this, you can try to do it yourself. It's fairly easy. And the way it goes, solar panel comes down into your charge controller. From your charge controller, you go down to your battery bank. And you size your battery bank or depending on what you want to run. And it goes up to your inverter or your charge controller. And from there, you can run whatever you want to run, your lights or whatever. So emergency situations, if you have some a loved one that's in a, a bed that has to be lifted up for comfort, but it takes electricity to do it. If you're out of power for a week or so, then your loved one is stuck in that one position until you get power to them. Okay? Solar power, plug it up, lift that bed to wherever it needs to be lifted up, give them comfort. If you have medication that needs to be refrigerated, get you a little small DC refrigerator like this, a little cooler, plug it in, it doesn't pull much power, plug it in there, and then you have medicine that needs to be cool, still being cool. So that's something to think about. So we're going to put this back in. And so you're going to see the light flicker just a little bit. So there we go, light flickered a little bit. Now we're back on AC power, which is the grid power. And you hear this inverter charger just kick back on. And so right now it's running. And of course, my batteries didn't do anything. It's still at 100%. Um, so we're good to go with that. But guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn. We're here to teach. We, we you know, 
You can tell me something that I'm missing. I can tell you something that you're missing. We can share the wealth of information. That's what we all are here for. So I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. If there's anything that I need to add, please let me know. But until then, I greatly appreciate you watching and thank you.